Welcome to the Tip of the Month, sponsored by Cosmonet. I'm Dr. Corky Wilhite, and I'm going to talk this month about Renamel Nano. Uh, it's a nano hybrid product that is uh, versatile and uh, has a great viscosity. I use it a lot in transitional bonding. And we're going to start this exercise by placing some unfilled resin on a shade tab type tooth. In your practice, of course, you'd be using your traditional adhesive. If you're looking for a really good one, the Cosmonet Complete comes in a packaging that allows you to do fourth generation or fifth generation bonding. Once you've cured the material, then you'll dispense the nano using the compule. And if you notice, I'm holding the tip in a pretty stable location. The material is extruding out of there. I'm not allowing it a long stringy piece to overlap itself. Then I'm done, I cleave it off the side of the restoration. You can use the incisal edge or whatever to make sure that it's not pulling away from the tooth and again trapping air bubbles. So here what I'm doing is using Cosmonet's IPCL instrument. It's my favorite sculpting instrument. It stands for interproximal carver long. And you can get into tight places with this as well as along the margins and size of edges and such to smooth and sculpt that material in a way that um, is effective and primarily to avoid trapping air bubbles. And um, as I'm coming across this side of the a shade tab here, you can see that gap that's in there. I want to blend that material over there very carefully using a light touch. Uh, I think it's very important as we're using the instrument to make sure that it's clean and scratch free. You don't want to have any um, hardened composite on there from previous uses. You don't want to have any scratches so that you're much uh, more able to uh, avoid using lubricant and such which has uh, potential problems as well. As the material is manipulated by sculpting it here, you'll find that it's got a very balanced viscosity. Unlike the Renamel Microhybrid, which really does adapt extremely well, but consequently has a little slump to it, what you'll find is that this stays put, but unlike the Renamel Microfill, which is quite rigid, this does have the ability to move quite easily. And again, with a light touch, uh, sort of massaging or teasing this composite, in the place, you'll find that it goes where you put it and stays there. And now for the specific tip of the month regarding avoiding incisal fractures on your composite restorations. As you are sculpting the composite and then contouring it, including adjusting inclusion, it's very important to make sure that your incisal edge is at least one millimeter thick. If it's less than one millimeter thick, you're making that restoration much more likely to fracture even under normal function. One of the important aspects too is of course to use a fracture resistant material like Renamel Nano, a material that not only will handle well but will be unlikely to fracture under normal function. To make sure that your incisal edge is a millimeter thick would do well. The advantage to the Nano is though it was going to polish better. So that's our tip of the month. Thanks very much. Look forward to talking to you again next month. When your first choice is Cosmo Dent, you're spreading smiles, big happy smiles, a whole world of smiles.